Yeah, we're here in South Africa, about to jump out of a hot air balloon. Over, over 50 rhinos roaming around out there. Actually, there's one right there. We're gonna bring Jeff to South Africa and we're gonna save and name a baby rhino. And we want you to help us. Yeah, we're gonna start a GoFundMe page and they're boarding, so we better get it. Let's go to South All Africa. Right, let's go to South Africa. This is the Bushveld. Edge is heavily invested here in developing counter poaching and wildlife protection programs, working with local devoted groups who are on the front lines. We also help support groups doing research with lions and also with our partner, Rory Hinsman Conservation Research Unit. We have the opportunity to work with elephants that have been rescued from culling. And today we're gonna see how they work as ambassadors. So let's go meet our elephants. So this is Messina, this is Bella. Never been touched mm -hmm. by an elephant before. Beautiful. What about Mama? What does she weigh? Two tons. Two tons? Yeah. That's more than my car. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay, I'm good. <laughs> Give me a shower, extra shower. Yeah, extra shower. I, I must have just made her so relaxed right there. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> we're Edge, so the reason we're here and what we you know, care about is protecting animals. But one of the best ways to protect animals is to show the world how special they are. And one of the best ways to do that is with a camera. So a question I have, how can you communicate that with a picture? How can you take a picture that tells me that elephant has a personality, is distinct, has a name? How can you convince me not to go poach an animal with a picture? And then, Photography isn't just a hobby, it's a career. How long are the elephant expected to live? Oh, that's a good question. A calf can be born every three to five years. How many elephants are poached every day? 96. 96. They'll go extinct unless we do something. I can't imagine taking the soul or a life away from this magical creature for jewelry, something that I'm gonna just have and maybe throw away one day. Anyway, let's uh, focus on the good stuff, the pictures. If the animal is moving, better. it might make it blurry, but also if you Let's move see. it too much when you hit the button, it will also be blurry. It's just mm -hmm. have to look You're looking through a window. <laughs> uh oh, looks like we're stuck. Someone's gonna have to push. Huh? <laughs> Here to see some lions. Hey, how you doing? Good and you, how is Ion? Jeff, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Awesome. Ryan is the lion master. The lion master. <laughs> so off to see the lions. Yep. The biggest lions in Africa. Yeah. Wow. But this one uses the telemetry. Just point into that direction. Yeah, the beep, yeah. It's how the beep becomes strong. And that male that you can see there is what we call it, uh, the Kalahari male. While the females are about uh, 220 to 230. And they normally eat about 50% of their body weight. That gives you 60 to 80 kilogram of meat that this one lion can consume now and finish in one sitting. The only reason why I get this excited to wake up this early is I know I'm going skydiving out of a hot air balloon over the rhinos. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. So pretty awesome. We got to see a couple rhino already this morning and a young rhino. We're about to get the balloon ready. Yeah, we're going to go launch this thing right about sunrise. This is happening. Let's go help some rhinos. If 
we're just like right over here, am I just like yeah. right here? This is why we came here to South Africa. Thanks to Red Bull for flying. You ready? Like Mary Poppins right now. Yeah. This is what she must feel like. Boop. Yeah. Bye. All right, here we are. 1,500 feet and climbing. Yeah, we're the third biggest population of endangered species that we try and conserve, protect and yes, make part of our heritage so together with Edge. We, have a nice we need a lot of people out there and would like to support us in this, um, to make this a reality, this whole life against the poaching and create a better outcome for them in the end. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that would love to help. They just, they're not aware of it and they don't know what's going on yet. Much appreciated, definitely. Yeah. So I'm going to just stay at this altitude for a little longer. Okay. We're still going up. This right. is good. 4,000 feet. Getting good. All right, Jeff, you want to give us a countdown? Yeah. Let's go 10 seconds. All right, Pedro, listen for the countdown. He's going to go now, now. Keep a look at the balloon. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. See ya. There's three rhino like yeah. 100 meters away from me. I'm like, oh, there they are. Yeah. These people out here, it's a way of life for them. And they are protecting the rhinos, not only for the rhinos, but for, for us, for humanity too. You know, they are going extinct fast. Oh, yes, let's go find a baby rhino. That's Chicho right there. No way. Oh, little baby. There it is. It's Chicho. Chicho. Oh my God, so tiny. Wow, we caught a little sighting of Chicho. That's good. All right, well that's it, Chicho. <laughs> that's it, well it drops done, man. quick. Yeah, that thanks was dude. Excellent. Well that was done. awesome, thanks Looking for all awesome. the help. Definitely. So my friend Roberta Mancino, huge advocate for just like protecting wildlife in general and she does a lot with uh, with sea life, actually, for sharks. She messaged me. I could just hear her in Italian with her accent going, Bello, and the name is Chicho. Chicho means like, you know, if you eat a lot, you know, you're like chubby, you're like fatty, you know? I thought Chicho is kind of like, has a little bit of a masculine oomph to it, so it's good for a boy. And definitely, you know, it fits the, the characteristic of a rhino. Uh, thanks, Roberto Mancino, for coming up with such a good name. South Africa, baby. That's it, that's what we came here for, you know? Made it happen. Jumped out of a hot air balloon over the third largest rhino preserve in South Africa. 